Hello and welcome back, or just welcome if this is your first time here. Um, great to have you on board. This again is going to be another short video, so I'm going to keep the waffling to a minimum, which if you're you've been here before, you'll know is really hard for me. But I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to try. This um, is another San Diego um, video that I'm doing. What I found with San Diego, well, whilst I've been working my my normal job. Um, I've been getting snippets of what's going on in San Diego and I, and I usually take some time out and I go through, look at the release notes and then I'll, I'll, I'll kind of digest it all. But this time I'm getting snippets come through and I'm getting kind of quite excited to get in there and have a delve back there and then. So as I'm finding stuff which I think is pretty cool, um, I'm just going to post it. I think I am going to do a, a full video of my top, what, five, maybe ten of San Diego. Um, but as I'm finding stuff that I think is cool, I'm just going to get it out quick. Um, so apologies if the editing isn't great. Apologies if the scripting isn't great. Um, sorry, but I'm, I'm just going to get stuff out there and hopefully you guys can benefit, benefit from it as well. So anyway, enough waffle. I told you it's difficult. So what I want to show you, um, if you haven't um, seen this yet, so I've got on screen my San Diego PDI instance. If you haven't seen this, you're thinking, wow, what's this interface? Um, I did a video the other day, which is around Polaris, the, the next experience UI. So go and check that out. I'll put a link in the description. Um, but what I want to show you is something called flow diagramming, right? So what we need to do, just to, just to show you this, and this, this could be the missing piece of the puzzle um, with Flow Designer. So I'm just going to go to Flow Designer. So I'm in Polaris. I've clicked Flow Designer. Insert some into... Oh, no. It's, it's quite fast. Um... So I'm just going to pick any flow, and I'm going to go for the default SLA flow, because it's quite an easy, quick um, flow to look at. And this is... Ah, ah, here we go. Right. So what we have now with San Diego, and I'll explain um, in a minute how to get this if you don't already have it, but what we have now is this toggle view. Okay? So what we can do now is we can toggle the view... And this, this may take some time, and this is where we might insert some interlude music. Uh, okay, brilliant. Um, one thing I think ServiceNow has got to think about, so with this, this Polaris, this next um, experience, and, and this diagram as well, they've got to think about um, the speed in which things load, I think, and the browser... Um, capabilities that we've got they've got to, they've got to think about that um, or maybe it's me overthinking stuff but now we've got a different view of flow designer now we can see things like that um, in kind of a more of a, um, a linear structure a more um, I guess user friendly way and what I can do is I can start clicking on these and I can see the action properties on the right hand side that I can play with this is just the the, um, the default SLA flow so there's nothing too special in here but as you can see, I can start adding stuff. I can play around with it in this view. I can move up and down using this look as well. Now, this is about as far as I've looked into it. Um, my first impression was, wow, this is new, this is new. Um, I've got to go and check it out. So that's what I've done. Um, I would urge you to, to get in there, uh, as I said on my last video, get in there, have a play about, see what it means. Is it going to be useful? Is it the first step um, to where they might be taking uh, the platform? I don't know, but definitely worth a view. Oh, look, there you go. You can click on that and click view. Some of this I'm experiencing for the first time while I'm doing this video as well, by the way, guys. Um, how do you get it? Right. What I needed to do is, so bear in mind, this is my PDI instance, and I originally had this on Rome, and I upgraded to San Diego. Now, one of the things... Um, that you need to be careful of is make sure you're upgrading your plugins. So if you're upgrading your instance, so if, if you're not getting a fresh San Diego from scratch, if you're upgrading your instance, think about how you're going to upgrade plugins as well. Because sometimes, or if not all times, they don't naturally upgrade with the, the platform itself. So we need to think about that. Uh, this is the part where we put in the interlude music, isn't it? Loading the plugin list. So We're there. We've finally...
finally loaded it. Um, I think I might have a bit of a rant about service <laughs> service now in a bit. Okay, so when you're on the plugins, um, what you need to do is look for flow diagramming. Now, because I upgraded from Rome to San Diego, I needed to upgrade the version of this. I needed to install it um, or, or upgrade the version. Um, and it shows you here on the release notes. So these are the release notes for um, the flow diagramming. This is the store information. Okay, so if you were to click on this link here, release notes, it'll take you out to this store um, information here. So you can get it from the store as well. But just be just be conscious if you want to have a play around with it, go to your plugins, check out flow diagramming, update it if you need to, install it if you don't. Okay, um, or if you've got a fresh San Diego, it should be there anyway. But I'm just pointing that out because because I had to do some digging around, thinking where's it gone, where's it gone. Um, but there we go. Anyway, that was me. Um, this is Service Nerd with um, flow diagramming. Again, something cool in San Diego. I wanted to show you. Um, Keep your eyes peeled on the channel um, because I'm sure I'll find more cool stuff as I'm going through. If not, look out for my top kind of five, maybe ten um, video with San Diego coming up um, in the next few weeks. All right, take care. Thanks.